Brothers and sisters, I'm Bishop Edward Weisenberger from the Diocese of Tucson. As the local Catholic bishop, I work to ensure that Catholic programming in Southern Arizona is honoring our religious mission. In Arizona, a critical ministry for asylum seekers is sponsored by Catholic Community Services, known simply as Casa Alitas, and for a decade it has been supporting migrants who enter Arizona to request asylum. Our mission began with very humble origins, a five-bedroom house. But in the last five years, the cascading needs presented by migration have caused Casa Alitas to expand substantially to assist the city of Tucson and other communities along our border with Mexico. Casa Alitas partnered with Pima County, the city of Tucson, the state of Arizona, nearly a dozen other faith-based organizations and churches, and literally thousands of volunteers, all to support the plight of migrants in need. As the humanitarian crisis unfolded before us, we responded as Jesus compels us in the gospel, and I believe we were able to respond exceptionally well. An immense help was the federal funds released to Pima County, who managed the funds while Casa Alitas provided the on-site leadership. As I look back on what was accomplished, I find it remarkable that the federal government, Pima County, the state of Arizona, Catholic Community Services, and so many other churches and charities were all able to work together to help nearly 400,000 people from all over the world and with minimal disruption to Southern Arizona. Indeed, most of Tucson's residents would never even have seen a single asylum seeker. What happened at Casa Alitas is that men, women, and children who had just crossed the border and typically after a brutal journey from locations all over the world were met with kindness and critically needed resources. The dedicated staff and incredible volunteers provided food, temporary shelter, medical care, small toys for children who almost always arrive with little or nothing, but also help with travel to get asylum seekers to those who were waiting for them throughout our nation. Because of so many wonderful people working together, Southern Arizona and especially the city of Tucson never witnessed the street releases and other chaotic images we saw almost nightly on national news. Somehow, by working together, and I believe with God's grace and assistance, we were able to respond to an extraordinary humanitarian crisis with compassion, responsibility, and diligence. As you probably know, federal lawmakers are at an impasse concerning federal funding to border states like Arizona. And we anticipate this critical funding will end. This means that the size and scope of our mission at Casa Litas will change drastically. Simply put, it is not financially feasible for Casa Litas to care for so many people on such a large scale. While we anticipate great sorrow in not being able to serve all who arrive at our door, we will adapt as best we can, even if we can only serve a far smaller number. For this reason, I'm asking you today to consider how you might help support Casa Litas in the months ahead. You might not realize it, but most migrants spend less than 48 hours in Arizona my hope is that they will be able to move quickly through our great state and move safely as they have over these last 10 years. If you want to be a part of this compassionate response to this, again, unprecedented humanitarian crisis, then please consider making a monetary donation to Casa Alitas or Catholic Community Services. Your gift will help staff and volunteers to purchase food, basic toiletries, or even bus tickets so these legally processed asylum seekers can peacefully reach their destination. 
Allow me to say that it is with no small amount of sadness that I outline this situation. However, added to all that, there have been many false stories and blatantly dishonest narratives about migrants and assistance to them. For our part, I can assure you that each and every asylum seeker who has come through our doors has been legally processed and released to Casalitas directly from federal officials, almost always Border Patrol. And they were released to us, each and every one of them, only after clearing fingerprints, biometrics, and other criminal checks. That critical work is done by Border Patrol and other federal agents who make the initial review on a person's asylum claim and then put them on a pathway to receive a hearing with an immigration judge which often takes weeks to years. Those federal immigration agents and officers have proven to be wonderful partners in this mission and we commend them warmly. Brothers and sisters, that's our situation. Thank you for listening and again, if you would like to be a part of this ongoing compassionate response, please consider a donation to Casa Alitas or Catholic Community Services and may God bless you abundantly.